in Excel, it is very common that when you do perform a calculation, you have to make sure that you're fixing one area in your Excel to perform the right calculation. I have two examples here. Example one is showing person one up to person four in a form of, you know, a row. In example two, it's just basically the transposed version of this example one. So when you do some calculation, like for example, in this case, C9, which is value uh, 22 here, multiplied by C2, which is factor five. When you do that calculation and apply the same calculation to the other rows in your Excel, it will give you zero. And that is because if you click on F2, it is multiplying it as it goes down. It starts multiplying it one level at a time from C2. So in this case, we have to fix row two here because when we move down, we want to make sure that we are multiplying it with C2 again. So in this case, one way to solve that is if we click on F2 and, and then click on F4 to make sure that this one here is fixing both columns and rows. You can do that one, but in this case, I would like just to fix the row. So this one is fixing the row. So if you enter that one and then copy it down to the next uh, rows, you will see that it has already fixed the calculation. So that is fixing C dollar two. In this case, we have to make sure that we're fixing C, which is the column here. So as we move one column to the right, we don't want the factor to move to D, E, and F where there's no value for it. So in this case, if we click on F2 and then go to the formula again, click on F4, that's the first one. It's fixing the column and fixing the row. Another F4 again, that's fixing the row. And another F4 again, and then that's fixing the column. So if you enter that and then copy this one to your right, So that's how to perform the right calculation in Excel, which you will encounter a lot of times when you are doing a lot of calculation.